Hello and welcome. This is Gigi and this is a weekly tarot reading for my Virgos for the week starting May 16, 2016. And if you'd like to have a private reading from me, you can send me an email at ggvtarot at gmail.com. You can also subscribe to my channel. I would be very appreciative. Thank you for those who subscribed already and welcome to my new subscribers. Thank you for your likes. Thank you for your shares, your comments, your private messages. It truly means a lot to me. And I also posted below the video where you could find me on social media as well. And now my beautiful Virgos, on to your reading. I want you to know that prior to recording your reading, I meditate and ask spirit for guidance and I shuffle the cards as well. So let's see what we have in the past position for you this week. We have the Hierophant. That, so that is putting you in a strong position. This is a major arcana. So the Hierophant is all about being doing the, the right thing, having a conservative outlook, right or wrong. Okay, good or bad. It's about following our highest purpose. Okay, in the astrological belt, uh, the Hierophant represents Sagittarius. Sagittarius is a ninth house. Right now, you have a lot of activities in your ninth house, which is Taurus. Taurus is the ninth sign starting from you. So, the ninth house is about being really ha having higher values. It's about higher education, it's about media, writing, spirituality, or I would say religion on a certain level. Okay, so I feel that you're in a strong position. There's a lot of things that you have seen. There's maybe a different outlook, perception, or feelings about things that you, you hold in your heart or that you find valuable. There's some type of thing that have been changing for you. Okay, and let's see what we have in a position of the near past for you, my Virgos. We have here the Three of Pentacles. So there's a lot of admiration, appreciation for you at work or in your business, okay, which other business entrepreneur people. Maybe you're linking with other people. There's some type of great energy where your skills are being shown. Okay, there's a certain leadership about you. It's next to the Hierophant where people believe in the way you do things, how you present them, how you view them. You're getting a lot of attention, positive attention for you, my Virgos. And let's see what we have in a position of the future for you this week. The Ten of Cups. Bliss. A lot of bliss in your life. You know, when you try to when you're coming from a good place, as it seems that you, some of you are right now, and you have this higher uh, purpose found, what you know could involve helping other people or something of a service, because that's what Virgo represents, then you you are happy because that is your house, that's your dharma, that's what makes you um content in life. The Ten of, of uh, Cups in the future position is about bliss. Bliss in our life, related to other people, related to a career, related to our health, related to our wealth, related to a lot of things. It's a number 10, so it's, it's a dominant um, energy in your life. Okay, so this supersedes anything else. That is already going well. I think this new moon in your uh, ninth house, there was a new moon, I think, less than 10 days ago in Taurus, allowed you to see things differently. There's this um, higher, or maybe inner peace, where you go about your day, how you feel, where you're like, wow, okay, I could do this. You have a different philosophy. Or you have embarked in a philosophy that now you're bringing fully in your life attached to a routine or attached to how you speak to people or everything seems more organized it flows well I'm very happy for you my Virgos last few weeks that's been maybe for a few months as well for some of my uh, 
Virgo has been somehow challenging. But, you know, challenges never stop any Virgos. They just always go around and find a way to overcome. Okay, so it's a great energy. Let's see what we have for you, my Virgos, in a position of the outcome this week. The Five of Cups. So we go to fully content, number 10. And then we go back to five. You know, this is something that I noticed with um, some of my Virgos. I mean, sorry, making a lot of noise, trying to make, trying to be comfortable here. Okay, um, the Five of Cups, there's this energy, you know, maybe you're, there's something that has disappointed you. You know, you have to understand, Virgos, you know, people are not like you, okay? They don't necessarily always aim high. You know, there's a lot of people that are really happy with status quo. Although you're the sixth sign of the zodiac, you're not happy with status quo. Status quo is not you. Ironically, it should be Libra, but that's a different conversation. So now, you know, you're not happy. Okay? Uh, there's something that is just making you a little bit emotional here. And I'm not going to get into it too much because I find that sometimes... Virgos spend too much time thinking and they sometimes they, they're right they see things that are there but sometimes you Virgos see things that are not there I'm sorry in, in in terms of astrological energy I mean you have a lot of energy in, in your ninth house it's a happy house okay I don't see I mean Jupiter is now forward motion in your sign in Virgo so, you know, shake that off, you know. You know, the reason why I feel you're like that is because you're always looking at the 12th house. It's it's what you have 180 degrees ahead of you, which is the house of Pisces. And so Pisces is up and down. Pisces is like very like, um, you know, emotional. So I find that in your relationship, you always get to this place. So some of you, my, my Virgos that are listening to me, let me know how this resonates with you. I mean, I do have a lot of Virgos that are dear to me in my family, in my life. And I find that, you know, sometimes you hold yourself to high standard and everybody just wants to be happy, just wants you to be happy. But you're focusing on other people or whatever you have to do because, again, that's what Virgo do. Virgo, it's all about servicing other people. But I'm going to end this reading here for you, my Virgos. Before we end this, I want you to know that you have a great, great week ahead of you so the five of cups you know don't you know notice this pattern maybe this up and down notice where it's coming from and once you know what it is you understand it it won't happen you won't be one of those you know um people okay but there's definitely an energy about this uh for you my virgos but i'm gonna end this here let me know how this resonated with you leave me comments until next week send you lots of kisses I love you.